So has Amazon silenced the universal teen complaint? Come on, Mom, everybody has one. Amazon will now allow teens to link their accounts to their parents' account. Here's how it works. Parents will keep total control over their children's account, and they will receive a text or an email with the item their child would like to buy, and then have the ability to accept or deny the purchase request. Parents can also limit the amount their teens can actually spend. Joining us right now is Beth Koblenar. She is money conversations expert and author of Make Your Kid a Money Genius. Yes, even if you're not, which I love, Beth, good to see you. Great to see you, Thanks so much for joining us. Good. So let's talk about this new Amazon feature. Your right. thoughts? Well, it's been called an allowance tool, but let's get real. It's a spending tool, a way to get teens to spend more money. And I've been going all around the country talking to parents, teaching financial literacy to kids. And the one thing they say is, my kid thinks money grows on trees. Now with this, you press a button, you get what you want. It's not really a way to teach kids about money, and it certainly isn't encouraging savings. Yeah, because we, we've talked in the pa past where kids are saying, well, just take me to the ATM machine, as if the money grows on trees and it's just always exactly. going to be there in the ATM machine. So in your book, you warn parents not to replace talk with tech. Explain. Exactly. Well, a friend of mine recently went to a store with her son, and she took out a $20 bill, and he said, Mom, don't pay for it. Use your card. Like, kids don't realize <laughs> that cash is the same as paying with the card. And they don't use cash anymore. They don't see cash anymore. So it's really important. And you know, there's that famous MIT study that shows when we use cash, we spend less than when we use credit or plastic or buying online because there's the pain of paying. We don't want to give up those dollars. And that's something we have to do. We have to give kids cash. That's my movement. Gives kids cash up until they go to college. Then they could start learning about debit cards and credit cards. But cash is important to teach yeah, kids money. Yeah, because then you, then you get to a point where if I don't have it, I won't buy it. Exactly. It's all what you have in terms of cash. But Amazon uh, is, is having this new thing, Amazon for Teens. It's introducing plastic at a young age. So should teens be learning spending habits uh, through charge, you no. say, no, don't Absolutely even go not. there. First of all, you're missing out on those teachable moments. You know, when we were girls, I'm older than you, but when we were kids, you know, you'd go to the store with your mom and she'd use coupons and you'd say, oh, okay, I'm learning what that is. Or I'd see my dad comparison shop. Today, it's all online. You're texting your kid, okay, buy that. You're half paying attention, you're at work. It's important to give kids cash and to have these conversations teach them the money basics, teach them how to make change. All that has to do with numeracy and understanding that money just doesn't grow on trees. You have to earn it and you have to spend it wisely. And I think this is taking the parent out of parenting. Such a good point to make and such good advice. Now, one of Amazon's biggest selling points with the 14 feature right. is the amount of control the parents have over their children's purchases. So what about that? They'll right. push back and say, no, you can, you can approve it or not. But the problem is it's too much control. If you, every time your kids spend something, can I buy this, can I buy this, A, you'll be at work all day saying yes, no, yes, yeah, no, true. you're not really paying but attention. But for generations, they've had the freedom to buy the music, the clothes, whatever they want. Right, but that's good. Like, when you give a kid allowance, they learn, I have a goal, I want to buy those jeans, okay, great, you have to save up and save your money and see that money building in your wallet or your piggy bank or whatever it is, save that money and use it to buy something you really want. And giving kids the end independence with parameters, this either says, I have to okay every purchase, or you can turn that part off and say, okay, you buy whatever you want. And that, of course, we know can be a huge mistake. So many parents are telling me around the country, video games, their kids are spending hundreds of dollars on video games because they give them a debit card, that's their allowance, they're punching in the numbers, yeah. and they don't see cash, they don't see money. It's such an important uh, uh, piece of advice. I mean, that's how I learned about money from right. a very early age. Right. I, the ice cream truck would come down the block, I would hear Mr. Softy, right. and I would say, Mom, can I get an ice cream cone? And she would always say the same thing, you can, but how will you pay for it. Exactly. So I always had all of these banks all over my house and then I would go, well, let me go check my change. Let me see how much I can exactly. do. It. That that stayed with me my entire life. It's age appropriate. Yeah. It's visual. Kids see whether it's a jar, something simple. Yes. And also the goal is to teach kids you save some, you put some aside for sending, and maybe you've even given a little to charity, somebody yeah. who has less than you. With these kind of, you know, they're spending apps. They're like gift certificates. Yeah, I love it. And, and th thank you for the the writing this book, Make Your Kid a Money Genius. Love it. All tips thank like you. that in there. Beth Koblen, good to see you. Great to see thank you. Thank you so much.